In this video, we're going to determine whether a number is a solution of an equation. So a solution is just a number that makes an equation have the same value on both sides of the equal mark. For example, here's a really simple equation, x plus 2 equals 10. And you probably can tell just by looking that x would have to be 8 in order for the equation to be true. So if x equals 8, then the left side would add up to 8 plus 2, which is 10, and the right side is 10, and since the two sides are the same, we say that 8 is the solution. No other number can make the left side equal what the right side equals. So right now, I don't want you to worry about solving the equation, and I don't want you to Try to solve the equations even if you remember how to. I really just want you to test the numbers that you're given to see if they are solutions. In other words, I want you to check a given answer. That's what we're going to be doing. So the question would look like this. Determine if negative 3 is a solution of this equation. So to find out, I have to substitute negative 3 in place of the x. And it will look like this. 6 times negative 3. See how negative 3 replaces the x? And see how I put it in parentheses? That helps me keep its sign next to it without getting mixed up about operations. So 6 times negative 3 plus 14 equals negative 7 minus, now I'm going to take out the x and replace it with what? Negative 3. So everywhere I had an x, I replaced it with a negative 3. Now let's go back and use our sign rules. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then minus negative 3 makes plus 3. So let's add up the left side. Negative 18 plus 14 adds up to negative 4. And negative 7 plus 3 adds up to negative 4. So the two sides are alike. Therefore, yes, we can say negative 3 is a solution. Okay, let's try a different equation. Determine if negative 3 is a solution of this equation. So again, what we will do is take out the x and put in a negative 3. So where it used to say 2x, now it says 2 times negative 3. Where it used to say 8x, now it says 8 times negative 3. Now let's work out the left side and work out the right side. So 2 times negative 3 makes negative 6. Then we've got minus 5. And then 8 times negative 3 makes minus 24 plus 7. Okay, let's add up the left side. Negative 6 minus 5 makes minus 11. And on the right side, negative 24 plus 7 makes negative 17. So in this case, the left side equals one number and the right side equals a different number. So this time we cannot say that negative 3 is a solution because negative 3 did not make the two sides equal the same thing. So now let's try another one. One last thing together. Determine whether negative 10 is a solution of this equation. So everywhere I have a W, I'll be replacing the W with negative 10. So it says 5 times W plus 3. So I'm going to make it say negative 10 plus 3 equals 2 times W. So I'm going to make it say 2 times negative 10 minus 21. Okay, now you have a choice. Some people want to distribute the 5, and some people want to work what's inside the parentheses first. And good news, either way works just the same. So let's do 
negative 10 plus 3 adds up to negative 7. And now let's come over here. 2 times negative 10 makes negative 20. All right, 5 times negative 7 makes negative 35. And negative 20 minus 21 makes negative 41. So would you say that this is a solution of this equation? I would say no, because these two numbers are not the same. So negative 10 did not make the two sides equal the same number. So negative 10 is not a solution.